you also play an uncle on Survivor's Remorse. Never had it. Yeah. So if this Uncle Buck things takes off, I really think that you have the potential to be the greatest fictional uncle of all time. Of all time. I want to bounce five greats off of you, and you can tell me what you thought of these great fictional uncles. First one, Uncle Jesse. I like Uncle Jesse. He Uncle was Jesse too young to be up. an uncle. Somebody put him in a bad situation if I was a young <laughs> kid. Um, I say, Uncle Jesse, you got a Viagra I could use because I'm an unusual kid. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Kind of look like Suge Knight. But different sensibilities, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Sam. Oh, I don't want to see him at all. Not a fan of Uncle Sam. Not a fan. And whoever's doing his perm need to cut it. Uncle Fester. Oh, man. Who's Uncle Fester? I say Fester. Uncle Fester. I mean, I, you he look, look like, like Adam's family. Yeah, number five. Is. Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke. Uncle Mo Luke head. is crazy. Hey, 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 Mo hey. What I would bring to him is I would ask him, Uncle Luke, how could I get, hey, 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 Mo hey. Kind of a, this one has a trick. God. Oh, he eats them too? You've been in music videos almost as long as you've been in movies, and they run the gamut from Nori to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. And then your mixtapes kind of run as deep as DJ dramas. Yeah. I wonder how does hanging out with rappers in the studio compare to just shooting the shit with comedians backstage at the comedy cellar? Man, when you hang out backstage with a rapper, it's a hundred guys back there, our girls. And then when you hang out with comedians, it's real cool. Everybody back there cracking jokes, waiting to go up. You know, like so that. Little Duval, it's like best life. It is different, man. Rappers is, man. It might be a gun back there. Of all the music video sets you've been on, whose was the most fun? I gotta say Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, because we was dancing in the middle of a field next to a casket. That sound, that's, I don't know if that sounds like such a great It wasn't voice. fun, but it was just crazy. This is our hot sauce. We're very proud of it. Homeboy's hot sauce is heating this. I'm going to have to get some of their hot sauce. What is it called? Hot Ones Homeboy or something like that? I think it's the best hot sauce ever made, but I'll leave it up to you. Let's do it. So you're playing Richard Pryor. Yeah. I wonder how did diving into Richard Pryor's character change Mike Epps as a person? Preparing to do this role. And after I read about Richard Pryor, I said, wow, I'm a church kid compared to him. He was really, really layered up. This guy was really, really smart, really, really crazy. And uh, I, I just realized I'm not that crazy. Yeah, I got a chance. I have no idea what this yeah. level thing even means. Now is like. where the game starts to kind of get serious. So I think the Richard Pryor conversation segues kind of into this one. You know, your Look at his face. Called... Can I here? Go ahead. Definitely, Damn. I recommend it. A little bit of a kick on that one. Damn. Why he say kick like that? Damn. Damn. Go ahead. Your Netflix special <laughs> is called Don't Take It Personal. Mm -hmm. And as someone who's done stand-up comedy for 20 plus years, I think that you're uh, the perfect person to ask. Do you think that audiences are more easily offended in 2016 than they say were in the 90s? Not really. You know, 2016, you got the internet. People's all on the internet. They doing everything on the internet. So I don't think people get offended as, well, as much as they would be in the 90s. Really? It was shocking in the 90s to hear somebody saying different stuff. But now, it's like, oh, man, I seen crazier stuff on the internet. That's true. Seven, pain 100% all the way through. Not 90. That's the name? Not 80. 100. It's a man wing right there. Mm. <laughs> man, that's hot. You not good with hot shit? Mm. Them ways is too hot, man. I can't even talk. You were kind of, you seemed in a confident place in the first couple of wings, and now. My eyes is watering. 